Well, yesterday I worked here. I didn't really video anything. I got a few pictures. But we dread this rock is huge. And then this is a shelf of bedrock. Hey everybody, Jason Keith, Jason Keith Prospecting. I'm back in the Dominican Republic. I'm back with the dredge where you all wanted to see me dredging. Today you're gonna get to see it. So we're gonna get the I'm gonna get to here, get them set up there. It's pretty early in the morning, 6:30, 7 o'clock. It's already hot, sweating. But I'm gonna continue working here. I was on good gold. I'll put some photos in here. If I can. I'm not very good at letting y'all know that. <laughs> but I'll put some photos in yesterday, the golden cleanup. It did pretty good, man. Yeah. I'm back today. I'm tired. Wore out. It's been two months. Sitting in mums. Ready to get back at it. So let me get all set up here and I'll be back to show you where I'm digging my life at now in the Dominican Republic. As you've seen in my last videos, this is where I had a sluice set up. The rivers are really down. There's not even enough. I don't know if there's enough current there that I could even get my dream mat to, to change. But that makes enough current. I definitely will make it change. I built a new box when I was in Pennsylvania. It's a little ugly, but says the operator, so but it works good. We have something in common. <laughs> but yeah, this is where I'm working. I'm gonna continue. This is a bedrock shelf. It runs out across here and then it drops straight down and then it shelves and drops straight down again. I do believe it drops down to and it's fresh. This is virgin. Bars and picks and shovel and blast nozzle. If, if none has ever dredged virgin ground before, it's not that great of a deal. I mean, it's a great gold, but it's not that great fun. It's packed. It's like cement. Just chiseling work. But but the gold's here. So And it's, it's virgin ground. What else can I say? So I'm going to get back set up here, and I'll be back here in a little bit to show you what I'm doing. All right, man. I'll be back here in a little bit. Well, I got it pumped down here. I want to show you what I'm working. This, this is the face of the bedrock, and it goes down these big rocks here. I don't know how far it goes down. My buddy come down to see me a little bit. Ablolo. So yeah, we're gonna keep working this down. I don't know how far it goes down. It's a pretty nice face. A lot of cracks and crevices. And uh, we're gonna see how far it goes down. See what's at the bottom. And I will keep you updated. Let you know what's coming here. What we're finding. We're going to try to move these big rocks. we got the horses. And there's another horse over here. You can't quite see it. But we're going to hook the horses to the to the boulders. And uh, move the boulders. That Dominican winch. Two horsepower. Pretty strong horsepower. So, all right, man. Well, we're going to get through this. And uh, I've got my tripod. So this video will be what it is. I do have a tripod in my apartment. But it's not here. So we're going to keep at it. My buddy stopped in. He likes this. Like I said, I break these dredges out of the cause of the tension. But this is my buddy. This is his property here, so I don't mind him being here. But uh, we're going to get to see if we get these rocks moved, and then I'll bring you back whenever this is done. It's too hard to video and film, and I'm all worried about the film that much. I just want to show you guys a little bit. Send a little bit of love back out to YouTube. So, all right, man. I'm going to get back to it. It's all right. you. Good. So, you got the big rock moving here, the bar. Alright, I got a voice. I have to go. I have to turn this off. I'll be back. Alright, I got it pumped down farther. I don't know if you can hear me over the pump. You can see that I worked all this all back in here. Down in under here. Those guys in California, Top Cat, man, they got the death cable. We got a death boulder. That thing's starting to roll on me. Uh, it's getting dangerous. I'm by myself. My buddy, he had to go take care of his horses. I'm by myself. So, yeah, I'm working above it where it can't roll uphill. But when he comes back, and so I can move it with the bar now. I'll flop it down in there. I worked along that bad rock. I'd like to go deeper, but man, I don't want to mess with that rock. If we can move it with the horses later, I'll move it, but it moves. You can see right here, it cracked, it moved. So, yeah, we got down in here pretty good. Like I said, sorry about the noise of the pump, but I got to keep it pumped down. It fills right up. You can see that vertical wall of the bedrock. I don't know how far down it goes, but I'm going to try to find out. I live here now. I moved out of Ultrabanda, out of the city, back in the mountains where I belong, back on the river. So I'm going to keep digging this and uh, 
I'll let you know. I don't know what time it is. It's got to be close to noon. I'm going to stop for a sandwich. I'm getting hungry. But uh, let's get in there. We're doing pretty good. I did one clean out. It came out pretty nice. Not too bad. Hmm. But yeah, it's pretty good. It's good to be back. Really good to be back. Good to be here all by myself, man. I like this. The solitude and just leaving the pump and the water and the river and a little bit of knowledge. I'm going to do a little bit of explaining here later. This, this is what I showed you this prospect. And this, I promised what I'd show you I was dredging. And I'm going to dredge all this. I'm going to clean it all. So, this is the bedrock that's exposed. And this is the shelf that runs here. And it drops down. We're down to the water level there. It's three feet. And it's, I'm probably a foot underwater there. So, but I'm getting scared of that rock. All the golden world ain't no good at all if you get killed doing it. So, I'm going to try to take it a little bit slow here and get a game plan figure out which way I can dredge around this and roll this rock out of the way I know I can't get it up out of there it's just what I have here there's just no way I can get it up out of there but I can move it so we'll figure out which way I'm going to dredge away and uh, get it away from that, that sharp edge I'm really on good gold really on good gold along that wall it's sharp sharp drop off so we're going to keep going I'll be back to let you know here in a little bit show you a little bit more gold all right, man. Thank you for coming back to see me. I appreciate it. Sorry I've been going so long, but it is what it is. I'm back where I'm at now. So, all right. We get back to this. Oh, I hope I didn't zoom in on myself. Might have. Oh well. If I did, I'm sorry. Touch the screen. I'm not very good at this camera stuff. Yeah, I'm sure I did now. Oops, sorry about the close-up of my ugly face. I know it's ugly far away. It's even worse up close, so. All right, man. Let me get back to this here. I'm going to blast. I'm going to hydro force above this and whoosh it out. Whoosh it down into this top side. And uh, clean a little bit more, and then I'm going to go to lunch. So. I'll see you when I get back. The new box, the crash box, is working wonderful. Wonderful. So. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Jason say. All right, man. I gotta find something to eat. I gotta go up the house and make a sandwich. I'm hungry. But I'll be back. It's gonna be a long day. We'll be back to show you what we find.